China Mac, Hassan Campbell, all the things that have been going on, Math Hoffa, the situation, everyone's been talking about it, and the thing is up in an uproar. But today I'm here to talk about how I feel about it, being that I've made previous videos on China Mac and reporting about China Mac and hip-hop and how much of a pivotive or important role China Mac has played and why he has contributed to hip-hop. For years, we've been making this type of content on our other channel called Golden Culture. Culture spelled with a K. When I had put China Mac up at the Barclays Center to other pics you're gonna see around, and this was a Golden Culture where I had made this content years ago, <clears throat> over three to four years ago, and he commented on the page itself, awesome dude, and I think his comment went something like, the struggle is the same, I understand your pain, because I come from where you come from, and I actually had the opportunity to meet China Mac in Brooklyn, Sunset Park. Facts, why they can't respect the growth, China Mac eats opinion. That's when he was making Mac Eats and all that, and people were like, oh, that's not gangster, and all the stuff and negative things that they were saying about China Mac. We were being supportive of him the whole time, understanding content creation and change. So it's not China Mac's fault <clears throat> if certain people don't change with the time. I'm going to pop right back out, but I just wanted to show you a little bit on how far back we come of talking about hip-hop, China Mac, and what have you, just so you don't think we some bugged out dudes, right? Just talking to talk. China Mac, is he a culture vulture? Again, there's another video when they were stating that. This is all you can find it on the lockout. I mean, on Golden Culture with a K. Opinion on China Mac and more, New York City. Bang, during the time of the making of those videos, like I said, he popped out. But today is not only about that. Hip-hop is not about one person. Hip-hop, collectively, as a whole, the whole world contributed and added their grains to hip-hop. So we like to believe, and some people like to believe, oh, yo, this is just for blacks, and that's not a fact. And I stand up and talk about it because I've always talked about it, and I've always had a problem with how others try to erase history. So my thinking of it, if we would have just left it that it just belongs to one ethnicity, one group of people, it would have been local, just like the gangs that people talk about and say, oh, that was started in Cali, that was started in Chicago. Yeah, but if New York would have not took it and made it global, right? If the Puerto Ricans, the Asians, the Italians, the white guys, everybody would have not joined, it would have been just that. A local gang or nation. Give it back. Let it just be local. So give hip hop back. Let it just be local since you think it was just yours. No. Other people contributed to hip hop. And hip hop will never belong to just one group of people. And until we get that, the people that push that agenda is the people that are just like pro uh, whatever their race may be. That believe that they started something. And it's cool. Hassan believes that he started the so-called dirty section of YouTube. Again, that's not a fact. Never. When you're copying other bits and pieces from other channels. Whoever knows what I'm talking about knows. And if you don't know, then that's just because you're just stuck. And once you see something and you like a certain content creator, that's it. It's him or nothing. So the other day I posted even pics and videos of me and Dollar. Now, Dollar is a dude that Hassan is always talking about. Oh, I'll be with Dollar. And I was tight because I never heard Dollar's name until I mentioned Dollar. Two days later, they mentioning Dollar. And this is in my comment section. And everybody will tell you. Now, it could be mere coincidence because he does know Hocus for a fifth also. And I had the opportunity to meet Hocus. And I talked to his brother, like, literally, like, yo, what up, my guy? I love you. Like that, like that. So you can check out those videos. They somewhere around here. But let's get to this money right here, what he said on We Locked In. And shout out to them, Mikey B and them and all that. I don't know them, but respectfully, I see y'all working. I've been seeing y'all working. Facts. So let's check it out. Mind you, this is the same dude, Hassan who came on our channel, and when he was like, yo, be quiet, but he said it with the S word, I don't even want to 
make algorithms go left over here. But uh, he said that, and I was like, go ahead, bro. And I let him talk just because I knew what the people, they wanted to hear him. So I was giving the audience what they wanted to hear. Behind the scenes, a whole lot of other stuff happened with the texting, and it got weird. So I didn't even deal with him. It went from, oh, well, you could come on my platform where I didn't want to go on his platform because he's the type of dude that feels that he started this and he helped you do this. And I didn't want him to ever say he helped me do anything because he never has. With that being said, uh, he sells you a lot of dreams and makes you feel like if... Without him, nothing is going to happen. And the problem is that we're, or you really helping him. Because while their views are going down and he's acting like he's helping you by going on your platform, you're helping him. It's a strategy that even rappers do when they think that they lit and then they start falling off. They record with the up and coming. So when you come up, guess who you bringing up with you too and reminding people of. One of the things that stood out to me that bothered me is that he's already stating, like, if he helped Mav Hoffa blow, you know, uh, uh, Mav Hoffa was doing his thing. He acts like he's giving credit to people, and we're going to show you that in the tape. And he goes, but then I went over there, and I merged my audience with him, and now Mav Hoffa is where he's at today. He's doing his thing. If I was Mav, I would be calling, boy, don't be using my name to try to big you. Math Hoffa didn't need you then. He doesn't need you now, respectfully. And this is the thing with Haas. He'll be my Math Hoffa's friend all the way to he decides to flip on Math because it's more beneficial for his growth. And that's it. I see it coming. The only reason he may not do it is because I said it already. But if you know, leave it in the comments soon, he'll be dissing Math. But shout out to them again. It's none of my business, but it's my business. I'm a creator. This is the type of content I make. I'm a podcaster, influencer. You just don't call yourself an influencer because you got 300 and something thousand subscribers. We understand YouTube. You can lie to the people that don't know YouTube, but you can't lie to me. I sit there with them at the meetings. These are facts. Whoever knows, knows facts. So when he says we actually have more, uh, uh, subscribers then we have youtube is hiding our subscribers from the people that's a lie my dude they not in that business when these guys say youtube is stopping my views that's a lie youtube is not in the business of stopping views when their main source of income is ad and watch time they don't care what you're saying they want the money and the ad revenue and the time revenue if they had a problem with you a super problem you would not be here So let's get to this right here. Shout out to my guy, Dollar, Hocus 4-5, brother. That's the dude that Hassan is always saying, shout out to Dollar, my dude Dollar, right? And Dollar, you know, me and Dollar spoke, and Dollar's like, you know what, I do F with boy. Like, he never denied that. Like, he likes him. You know, he thinks he's a good content. He didn't have nothing bad to say about him. But at the same token, my dude, I've never seen boy through none of those blocks when I'm out there. Facts, never. And I'm there a lot. <laughs> I'm talking about a lot, a lot. <laughs> but you could be around the block uh, 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 in the basement. I get it. But shout out to him, bro. <laughs> Holy snap. Let's check out We Locked In and what he said on the show. What up? What up? We Locked In. What's the Yo, deal, man? Know it's we Locked In. What's good? What's good? Talk about it, man. What's good? What's How do these YouTube streets? These YouTube streets is hot. So, these are two brothers. One of them is Muslim. I don't know if Mikey B is Muslim. Shout out to him. But I don't know them personally. I never was locked up with Mikey B. I don't know. Not one of them from in jail or prison. So, let me just get out that, that out the way. I got to know about Mikey B on the internet. Uh, I didn't hear his name in the jail. Respectfully, I'm not trying to diss him. I don't pay attention to names in prison or jail. And I've been in and out of all these prisons and jails mostly all my life. So I, if I heard his name back then or any uh, while we was there in the 90s and 2000s or in the 80s, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't remember to be true. I didn't, uh, I'm not into names. I'm into the person when I when we meet, boom, you get it? <laughs> when we right there, there. But 
I want to see what this dude was saying and, and talk about facts and what's not facts. That what he says to the people that gets me tight. Like when he talks about himself and the way he talks about himself and about YouTube. That's my main thing, that he lies because people don't understand YouTube. Once you understand YouTube, you know the lie when they say, you see, we just had 9,000 people in the building. They just took off 1,000 people because they don't want us to win. That's a lie. YouTube don't do that, bro. Period. So if you think that's happening to you, you're watching too much of him. They don't do that, bro. Facts. I don't learn from the Jews what I already know. You see what I'm saying? I learned from the Jews what I what I already knew. They taught they taught us with Kanye West that you can't say nothing, you can't step into their business. I dislike dudes using uh that's the race card, bro. You're using that as a way to trick your people and bad influence others to thinking like you like all the jews are against us or every other nationality is against us and we need to be careful uh like bro don't live your life like that bro that's bad those are his encounters or connie's encounters with jews i've met some jewish people that have been the best people to me in the world <laughs> facts and those who know me know where I come from. I don't even got to repeat myself where I'm from, Puerto Rico, Spain, out of Hawaii, whatever, right? Uh, uh, I don't see color. I see human beings. You violate, you get violated. You a good dude? I'm a super good dude to you. <laughs> but we can all be, you know, turn green and be the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> but this dude is selling you false information, bro, and that's what gets me mad. And, 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 and those rules are rules that we that we should have been applied to our lives. China Mac, I have no beef with China Mac. I to his life, he talks like if he's talking for all black people, and that don't work that way. Your, your audience that follows you is your audience, right? If they die hard fans of yours, you can't speak for everybody. And this is why YouTube and these platforms don't want somebody with a little power or influence that could influence some people in the world Because I'm going to keep it a buck with you New York City, young dudes in the street When people be like Oh, Haas, or oh, this person You got the ability to influence the youth My dude, the youth in the New York City streets In the five boroughs Don't watch that dude This is facts They don't know who he is Or when you show it to him Yo, you know this guy Keep it real with their response And post it because we all have at one point or another. New York City is not. You can't influence people that don't watch you, bro. Facts. So that's people from other countries, from other nationalities. Respectfully to all of you that watch our content. They like the New York swag. The way a do Tidog. The way a do Middle and all that. Other than that, New Yorkers don't watch other New Yorkers. Facts. It's rare. It's super rare. You got to bring something to the table. And he brings something to the table, but he kills it with all the other stuff that he does. But I want to see everybody win, but I keep it real with what bothers me. And somebody throwing at China Mac because he's Asian or because a person is Korean or white or what have you and say they're not hip hop, that's a false thing and something bad to be putting out to the world. When everybody has contributed to hip hop, hip hop belongs to the world. That's why I put the globe that you see on China Mac's face is a red globe. And his face in it, his eyes red because of the pain. The globe is because no matter what happens in this world, till we die and generations to come, people will forever and ever have to mention Mirak.